Hello everyone, hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going over A Sorcerer Fool of Secrets, the second Pink Floyd album. Now, I have to admit, uh, it's not one of my favourite Pink Floyd albums. The songs are great, but they would do so much better. And, you know, by this point, Sid Barrett is leaving the band. He's almost out the door. Uh, he's still around a bit. One of the songs, which we'll get into, has him on it. It's his song he wrote. But his creative control of the band is gone. And the, that means, you know, Pink Floyd have now lost their primary songwriter and primary lead singer. And for this album and the next one, they would really struggle to try and find their sound. And it really shows. But uh, this album's brilliant. Their next album, which is a different video, but that album's not that great. But anyway, um, so yeah, they don't have their new frontman, which leads uh, Roger Waters to kind of step up to the post and become this sort of maybe frontman to the band. Or he would start writing the majority of the songs and uh, singing the majority of the songs. Although on this album, you've got a lot of uh, Richard Wright stuff as well who has a really sweet and melodic voice to him. Um, but yeah, another fun fact is Nick Mason, the drummer for this band, believes that this is the best Pink Floyd album. And he even, he's now in another band, which he started called A Source of Full of Secrets, named after this album, which is super cool. Um, but yeah, let's get into it with the looks, shall we? So, I love this album cover. I love that Pink Floyd doesn't fit on the top or it keeps going. It looks like it could go on forever. If you see that at the top. And I love I love the green, uh, the Zodiac sign, uh, the wine bottles, the picture of the band in the middle, and then fuck knows what the rest of it is. I think it's like, uh, there's, there's a wizard. I've just noticed the wizard. I've never seen that before. Um, it's one of those album covers you could stare at for years and find stuff uh, like the curtains up the top and uh, it's just it's uh, Saturn there it's just brilliant it looks like it's like space and medieval folklore and just it's fantastic and I love the back cover the first Pink Floyd photo with uh, uh, David Gilmer sorry in it and I love that it's got actually has the songs on it which is so good for my videos but this is brilliant. And then that there, you can see the black and white version of that one. That one. Uh, I won't show, I won't, I mean, I can show you the label, but all the labels are near enough the same. Um, so this originally came out in June 1968, and it was released or re-released in 2016. But yeah, not much more to see. So let's talk about the songs. So the album kicks off with Let There Be More Light, which is just brilliant. I love the opening with the great, great bass line from Roger Waters. And I love how it's very soft and, and light until you get to the chorus. And the choruses sound like... <coughs> mm. They sound like the end of a video game or the end of a big climactic movie. It just suddenly becomes this climactic masterpiece. And it sounds like an alien is coming down to uh, abduct you. It's just really cool. And it sounds amazing. Some great choruses. Uh, Remember a Day, which is another great song. Set the Controls for the Heart of the Sun. It's a really psychedelic, folk rock, light ballad. That's not. There's not a lot to it, in my mind. It's just not one of their best songs, if I'm honest with you. A Corporal Clegg amazing song and the chorus what makes it for me is the chorus with the kazoos you can't beat a good kazoo chorus and the lyrics about uh, a corporal who lied about his position and is terrible at his job and his wife isn't pleased with him it's just hilarious um a source of full of secrets the title track now for the longest time i would just skip this song because i didn't really like it and although I still think it's one of the worst Pink Floyd songs, and the live version is even worse again, uh, I, just listening to it now, it really spoke to me, or I, I heard something. Um, it sounds like 
it sounds like you've died and the song has taken you up to heaven with all these weird simps and these crying uh, these lyricless vocals and it just it sounds so mega and I imagine um, again this is it's late 60s summer of love uh, a lot of people were smoking uh, a green substance and I imagine that uh, smoking the green substance while listening to a source of full of secrets uh, would help me understand the soul more but as I'm I don't smoke that green substance I don't really you know it doesn't hit me but it is drug music um, a lot of Pink Floyd's early stuff is drug music uh, Seesaw which is another beautiful song from uh, Richard Wright again uh, Remember a Day is also a Richard Wright song his his vocals are very dreamy and beautiful love them uh, and Jug Band Blues the Sid Barrett number pardon me is brilliant um, it's really heartfelt and touching it's the last song you would do with the band and the lyrics are you know you brought me here in my red shoes you have you've changed me and now you're kicking me out uh, and even the lyrics who's going to be writing these songs it is just brilliant and he wrote about leaving the band it's so heartfelt and touching and I love the big band sort of there's an instrumental break in the song with this big uh, joyous band and it just cuts out completely and comes in with the acoustic guitar with Sid Barrett's amazing vocals and he is a very very special singer his vocals have not been matched no one sounds like Sid Barrett did so yeah it is an amazing album there are a few songs that are a bit iffy but overall you know Corporal Clegg with the kazoos are brilliant that's just so iconic and uh, Let There Be More Light such a great opening track in conclusion this album is a 6 out of 10 it's it's a good start. It's a good second album, but they would get so much better. Uh, their fourth album and onwards is where they really hit their stride and become one of the greatest bands of all time. Uh, and their first album is one of the greatest albums ever. But this album, it's very psychedelic. It's very folk rock uh, with a bit of classic rock in there. And I love the reference to Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds as well, which is brilliant. Uh, but overall, it's just a six out of ten. And, uh, I mean, somebody was complaining to me. I mean, they said that Pink Floyd was not drug music. Um, and that you don't have to smoke the green stuff to enjoy it, which is true. But this is drug music. I'm sorry, but it is. With the song like A Source of Full of Secrets, it is definitely drug music. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, these videos will get better when we get into the more interesting stuff. Uh, and I'll see you again soon. Take care, everyone.